Well, obviously, we started out at the beginning of the morning call talking about how the market is really focused on the negatives today, and with that, pushed gold right up to highs again. It feels like every week we're coming in here and saying record highs in gold. We're at 1622. That's crazy, but if you were looking for a safe haven, you're looking at gold. Market loves gold. Has for a long time. I don't see it stopping anytime soon. Uh, it doesn't mean you want, you just want to be a buyer carelessly. You do want to, you know, you do want to buy pullbacks here in gold, but gold really is a a pillar of strength. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, every time I, th I thought gold was going to turn down, it snaps right back and it makes new highs. It really is an unbreakable force at this stage of the game. That to me, not changing here. We broke out above the 151, 152 area. Uh, really nice surge over the last 10, 10 or so trading sessions. A uh, little bit of consolidation here. Looks like it's you know trying to digest this move or you know contract. For potentially another move higher, I do believe gold is up pre-market pretty substantially, trading around 158. And it looks to me like there's no reason to think that gold can't see into the mid 160s, you know, even in the near term. So I would keep an eye on gold, and I'd look to buy pullbacks there. Right, managed money. It came out is very much in favor of it. The net long positions for managed money increased considerably. So you've got all that managed money saying, "Yeah, I'm going into gold too." We also had silver bumping up again, well over $40. So now we're at, I believe it was $40.66. Silver to me, you know, the other precious metal here. Japan's not, gold. Yeah, not quite as sexy to me as, as, as actual gold is. Uh, I think this is really more for the trader, not necessarily the investor. Um, you know, we saw huge carnage in silver in early May. I don't think any of us can forget that move from, from 50 to, you know, basically 30 in just a matter of days. And it was so fast, honestly, it seemed like just a matter of minutes. Um, starting to climb its way back, slowly but surely, silver. We broke above you know, prior pivot highs here, around 37. I know Scott was all over this move. Looks like we're consolidating here. I think we could see a move back in silver uh, if we throw up our retracements. You know, back to the low 40s, um, roughly around 42 wouldn't surprise me. I don't necessarily think at this point you want to look for anything more than short-term pockets of movement in silver because if we look out here on the weekly chart, and again, I get a lot of emails about silver. Should I buy it? Should I buy it? Is it gold? Do we, you know, is this a long-term thing? This to me on a weekly or a monthly chart is not necessarily a, 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 a picture of health. We saw huge selling, heavy volume. That's the market's telling us something. Snapping back a little bit, but I think in time, you know, we could see another move down here in silver. Obviously, we need more data to support that. But for now, as far as silver goes, the trade is short term, possibly a move into the low 40s. All right, Evan. Well, as you mentioned, this is the last week of the month, so we're going to be having a lot of volatility. We still have some earnings news to come out, but we've also got all this uncertainty going on down in Washington. So I think people have to tread carefully. They do. The, you know, the market, I think the best way to talk about the stock market over the last two, two and a half years, the market climbs a wall of worry. You can point to numerous stories over the last, you know, two years, um, from from European issues to unemployment issues to nuclear issues. I mean, this market really has climbed a wall of worry for the last two and a half years. And you know, while the market will climb into adversity, it does not like uncertainty. And with this debt, you know, issue going on, is the U.S. credit worthy anymore? There's a lot of uncertainty, and there's a lot of bets being placed on both sides here. Um, from serious market players about what the possibilities are in the future. So I would say expect some volatility this week. I think it's really, really important that everybody that's watching this understands that we are going into a time where risk is certainly increased. What looked good, what looked great yesterday may not look so good tomorrow. So respect the market and what it's doing here. All right, and watch the morning call so that you can be well informed.